Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel and I'm a hot messy mama. Today I am going to be doing kind of a different style video for me. I am going to be talking about my first time doing something I'm not necessarily proud of but it's part of my story and at the same time I'm going to be putting on new makeup also first time trying a lot of this makeup so I'm going in first with the lawless forget the filler overnight lip plumping mask this is in the birthday cake flavor so today I'm gonna be talking about my first time doing cocaine the Ray song cannot get it out of my head it is so catchy Miley Cyrus Flowers too, another banger. I really think this year is gonna be the year of women in pop music. Like Taylor totally came in at the end of the year there, but I think she was kind of kicking off this year. Yeah, Miley Cyrus and Ray are kicking off the beginning of the year. So, cocaine is on our minds. It's a trigger warning. I am gonna be talking about drug use, illegal drug use, uh, addiction, and all the kind of stuff that goes along with it. If any of those topics are triggering to you, please don't watch this video, watch some of my other beauty content that has nothing to do with anything questionable, triggering, you know what I'm saying. Again, my name is Rachel and I'm a hot mess and a mama. I'm gonna do a little bit of priming. I'm gonna start with the Adaptogen Mist from Youth to the People, and I'm going to go on top of that with my normal Vive Skin Nova, which they now have an XL version, which is brilliant. I use it on pretty much every makeup look. Most of the products I have to try today are new, but I don't have new things in every category, so those are the places where I'm gonna focus more on the story and then talk about the new makeup in between. All right, the foundation I'm gonna try is one of my newer products. This is from Laura Geller. This is the Double Take Liquid. Laura Geller is an OG like QVC queen, celebrity but geared more towards mature skin. She's had a lot of baked products, baked blushes, baked bronzers, baked foundations. This I believe is the first liquid. It promises versatile medium coverage foundation, natural matte finish, pairs well with any of the baked powders. So, and it is supposed to be buildable. Because I'm not really like reviewing this foundation, I am gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury. I always say Charlotte Tilbury and I sound so cheesy when I say that. It's Burry, Tilbury. Anyway, the Hollywood Flawless Filter, I am gonna go in, in my normal spots. And then let's give this new foundation a whirl. 300 Golden Medium. And it does, like the Charlotte, it's in a beautiful glass bottle, gold accents, and it does have a big doe foot. That's a little dark. Oh yeah, it's really dark. We may have to take this off and start over. We'll see. Also got some new sponges from Ulta. They came in this set. I, I've been obsessed with orange all year and I could not resist the swirls. I did moisten it, so. And actually, I'm not gonna use a sponge for this foundation. I am gonna use a brush. I just got another set of the BK Beauty Core extension line. So I'm gonna go in with the 109 and kind of spread this out first. Ooh, yeah. Definitely need to take this up on the ears. I look like an Oompa Loompa. So we know it's not the right color. That's for sure. Take it on my eyelids and really try and even this out. All right, now I'm gonna go in with the sponge and see what we can do here to spread this out. So, while I'm trying to get rid of this Oompa Loompa phase, did cocaine for the very first time in my life in college. I went to the University of Southern California 
and it was the only school I wanted to go to. I applied to University of Maryland just in case I didn't get in. That's where I grew up. And um, in case we couldn't afford it, USC is a private school. It is not cheap. I did get in and I got a scholarship. And so that's where I went. Anyway, I wanted to be in Los Angeles. I wanted to hang out with rock stars. And that's what I was doing. We, me and my roommates and friends, would go to the Rainbow Bar and Grill almost every weekend. Again, not encouraging underage drinking, underage partying, or illegal drug use for anyone of any age. This is just my story and the mistakes I made and behaviors I engaged in, which I'm, again, not necessarily proud of, but it is what it is. This is my story. It doesn't look bad. Again, it's not the right color at all, but it looks better in person than it does on the camera. It looks much more natural in person. I like the way it looks. Well, we'll see how it wears. I don't have any new concealer, so I'm just going in with my Vive, and I'm going to set it with my Vive Powder Perfector if I didn't just break it. So, back to my story. We went to the rainbow all the time because I loved Guns N' Roses. Love, love, that is a current, they are one of my all time favorite bands and anybody who watched MTV in the 90s and late 80s knows that there were a few videos shot at the rainbow by Guns N' Roses, most notably the November Rain video. And it's still, well, in the early 2000s and late 90s when I was in college, it was still a hangout for that crowd. Lots of leather, lots of rock and roll musicians. I cannot tell you how many people Goodness, I wish we had camera phones back then. We got a lot of pictures with people, but they were like actual pictures, not digital. So I don't have copies of all of them. I mean, we're talking CC DeVille of Poison, Lemmy from Motorhead, Tommy Lee, uh, Be Real would, from Cypress Hill would always hang out on the front patio. Bill Maher, he had a blue like lame shiny shirt oh my goodness anyway we drank all the time this was before I was even 21 they didn't do a whole lot of carding at that time the rainbow was divided into two sections the downstairs which is the dining patios bar obviously that's where the footage from november rain is filmed with the red like curved booths all that is on the main floor then you go up the stairs to the more dance lounge section which had another bar kind of a hallway with a back stairwell and a vip room up another like in a loft if you will so we've been up in the VIP room a couple of times. And again, this is in the late 90s. So this is way before all of the internet celebrities. There were no influencers. LA was LA, but it was pre-Kardashian, pre-Paris Hilton, pre lindsay Like people partied, but it wasn't as white girls doing cocaine as it, as it is now and, and was for pretty much 2005 and on. So we were drunk all the time. I'm gonna use the Rose Ink Cream Bronzer. The exact date, month, you know, I don't remember that. It was spring of 2000 from my recollection. And we were there on a Saturday night and I was already pretty intoxicated. You got drink tickets, you had to pay like a, what's that called? A cover charge to get in, but in exchange for your $10 cover charge, you, you got two drink tickets, which were actually worth more than like $5. So you really could drink 
quite inexpensively at the rainbow especially if you ordered like an adios motherfucker or a red death or any of those like just go down the rail and put every single alcohol up there in the drink so and again i was not 21 i didn't have a fake id but we were there every every weekend so they just i don't know why they didn't check they probably would check now but they did not back then so my friends were mostly just drinkers I had a few friends who would smoke weed with me, friends who would just every once in a while take pills. I was also working for Capitol Records at the time as an intern and really getting more and more exposed to the Hollywood rock and roll lifestyle that I went to Los Angeles looking for. Again, I wanted to hang out with rock stars. I wanted to get out of my, what felt miserable at the time, but in hindsight was not really comparatively awful, but I need to get better at telling stories. I also apologize if the lighting is changing as the sun is. On the night in question, one of my friends had been talking to a guy who invited us into the VIP room. We went, which is really just a table surrounded by a booth with like a curtain at the front so it can be completely closed off. I was obliterated. I don't remember who else was there except to my right was Rick James. Like the Rick James. I'm Rick James, bitch. That Rick James. And the guy in between us pulled out a little white folded paper and a key. Dug the key into the white substance, which I knew was cocaine. The heroin wasn't around in white powder form at the time. I mean, it was, but it wasn't. Like, people weren't shoving a fucking bump of heroin up your nose, which would kill you. So, I knew what it was. And without hesitation, I plugged my nose, bent down, and took it in. That moment set off a chain of events that would ultimately lead to the birth of my son, I can trace back how every, whether good or bad, consequence or subsequent event that took place from my first use of cocaine in that VIP room with Rick James at the Rainbow to ending up with my son. In that moment, the feeling that rushed over me was like the angels opening up. Ah. This was how I wanted to feel every second of every day for the rest of my life. This is what I've been looking for. The instant rush, the ding. Oh my God, that feels good. And bear in mind, I was already drunk. So I didn't get as much of the jittery, ah, oh, I want to die. <sighs> Cocaine yuck that comes with it and ultimately led to me becoming a heroin addict. There's not much more to the actual event. We didn't hang out much longer in the VIP room because this was towards the end of the night. And again, we were college students, so we had to go back to USC. It's about a 20 minute drive. Um, the line from Clueless where they say everything in LA took 20 minutes is totally true, by the way, if you've not ever lived there. Very true. I'm using the new Too Faced Cloud Crush in This is Tequila <laughs> Tequila Sunset. It's a beautiful peachy pink shade. This is one of the matte ones. Ooh, that's right. No, I'm not. Ulta has new cream blushes. So I am going to use the shade Flamingo something. What is this called? I think this is called Flamingo Pink but it's a creamy 
lovely texture. Ooh, that's pretty. This is the Too Faced Cloud Crush next to it. And those, I think, are going to go well together. I think I'm going to put the cream underneath and then set it on top with the Too Faced. So let's do that. I'm going to go in with my sponge I've been using for the blush. Ooh, that's pretty. That's really pretty. Oh, I like that a lot. Okay. So that night opened my eyes to the drug. That would be my drug of choice. I did become a heroin addict, but honestly, I mainly got into heroin to help with the come down from cocaine. Uh, it's not fun. It's fun at first. You get that instant buzz. If you are someone, and they do exist, if you are someone who can do a couple of lines and then let yourself come down, go to bed, and go to work the next day, more power to you. I mean, I don't condone doing illegal drugs, but there are people who can do it responsibly and not become mentally dependent on that feeling. I have many thoughts on addiction and I'll be quite upfront and honest with you. I'll tell you I do not follow the 12 step and widely preached train of thought that addiction is a disease in and of itself. I do believe it is a symptom of a co-occurring mental health disorder in my years and years and years of drug abuse and in and out of rehab. I have never met a true drug addict who did not have a mental health disorder that they were self-medicating. They just, it just doesn't exist. This is the shade Bounce and the Merit I'm going to put this on and then I'm going to put the powder blush and then I'm going to blend them together. So same thing, I'm going in with the sponge just at the tip, kind of where the blush still is. And I'm just taking that on the sponge and patting it in over here. Ooh, what a pretty combo. <gasps> That's really pretty. Okay. So I was one of the people who did not feel well enough in my everyday skin when I woke up that I constantly felt like I needed to feel better than that. And that's what depression and anxiety will do. You constantly are on the search to feel better than you do just naturally. And I found a way to feel better and that was drugs and alcohol. Going with the Too Faced Cloud Crush. I'm gonna use this fluffy Morphe brush. Speaking of LA party lifestyle, what happened with Morphe? It's funny because I first, that first night of me doing cocaine with Rick James at the Rainbow was before it was super popular, super trendy, super Instagram cool white chick thing to do. Uh, cocaine was still very much taboo and more of a true drug addict. Drug choice. Trying the pinker times ahead. Also from Too Faced. This is, ooh. This does have shimmer, but like with the rare, you can kind of buff it out to be a little more natural with a more dense brush. That's pretty. I don't think it's super enhancing my texture, but that's a pretty cheek. It's unfortunate just because of what I went through and put my family through, but in reality, I would not have the sun I have if I did not go 
through all of the drug addiction. All right, I do have a new brow product also from Ulta. This is the stamp, the eyebrow stamp and stencil kit. There have been a couple viral versions of this. So Ulta is getting in on the bandwagon. You do get the stamp. I got the shade medium. So you get a couple of stencils, like five stencils, a little spoolie, the stamp. So we are going to try this. I do also have the new Grande Brow 2-in-1. So I may use that on top. Let's see. Let's see which... That, uh, that one actually is kind of perfect for me. That's number one. Hmm, silly me. There's pictures on the back here. So I think I am going to go with either one or three. We're going to do this. We're going to do five. Okay. Let's give it a try. Oh, okay. So it unscrews and pops out like this and you've got like a powder. I think this is going to be fairly easy, but we'll see. I don't know that that oh, worked a little. Brush these up. Needs a little more pigment, but go back over it again. It's all right. I've got decent brows to start with, so I'm probably not the best candidate for a product like this. I'm gonna wipe it off. So a little more about my beginning cocaine usage. Unfortunately, I realized I had friends at school and at work that were doing it. So while each of those groups was doing it every once in a while, I was doing it with both groups. So twice as much as anybody else. Unfortunately, it got me addicted quick. And after I graduated college, I couldn't find a full-time job. Music industry was in shambles. That's for another video. But even though it did kick off years of drug abuse and heartache and burnt bridges and just torment for my family, it did also put in motion the connections that would lead to my son being born. So I have no regrets. My favorite quote, it's attributed to the butthole surfers in the Chili Peppers song. So I'm not sure really where it comes from, but the quote says, it's better to regret something you did than something you didn't do. And I live by that. If I had not had the experiences I've had, I would not have the sun and life I have now. So I do not regret any of my choices or experience. Would I encourage you to use illegal drugs or use cocaine? No, I don't, I don't recommend it. If you're already using and you don't want to keep using just know there's lots of treatment options there are options that aren't 12-step based that don't require you to blindly follow a set of antiquated and misogynistic <laughs> writings this is the grande brow two in one also in the shade medium I like this. I like the formula. I like the applicator. It's small, but not too small to get anything done. And it's a decent color and it's got a serum. So with repeated long-term use should help your brows grow. So yeah, my first time doing Coke was with Rick James in the VIP room at the Rainbow. He, by the way, to mention it, I just made a complete mess on my forehead. He, Rick James, was already so 
out of it that we didn't really get to talk to him or anything. He was very low-key, just kept to himself other than taking his cocaine he was offering. We didn't interact with him much. Okay, I cleaned up my brows with the Precisely My Brow Pencil because they just, they weren't quite where I needed them to be. I needed more definition than I was getting from the Grande Brow and the Stamp. I like both of these. I don't want to use them alone though. I would want to use them with other products. The Stamp, I want to play with some more because I think if I got maybe a darker one and get a little better at holding the stencil in place, I might have a better result that didn't then require other products to clean it up. But for now, I'm happy with these brows. I'm pretty happy with the cheek. I do want a little more color, so I am gonna, I'm gonna go back in with the Tequila Sunset and add just a hair more and just kind of blend all of these together. I do like the blurring of this blush, and since we had the cream products underneath, it kind of sets those. I mean, do you need all of these cheek products at one time? No, absolutely not, but can you? Yes, absolutely yes, and it looks beautiful. Moving along, for eyes, I do have a new mascara from Give, Gwen Stefani's line, but on my lids, I have a couple new items from Moira. I have the Charlotte Tilbury Sophisticate eyeshadow palette, which is just like a little matte four pan palette that's making way back into popularity. Lisa J was raving about it recently. It's just these four shades. Really beautiful. And I'm using this lighter shade up here just to give some definition in my crease. I have been bringing the blush and highlight products up on the outer edge over here like I normally do, but this is just giving my crease a little more definition. And then I'm gonna go in with either one of the hip dot SpongeBob icon crayon thingies or the lawless one and done. And I'm gonna take that same shade underneath just the outer edge here. I don't mean to glorify cocaine either. I know I mentioned that the first time I used it, it was that hallelujah moment. But to reiterate, that's because I was depressed. I didn't naturally feel good, healthy, happy. So I needed a way to chemically induce. If you've heard, if you know me personally, you've heard me say that before. I was looking for a way to chemically induce the happiness that my brain was not producing on its own. So I sought that out. I'm just taking the white, by the way, from here on the inner part of my lid. So you know, I was looking for a way to create the illusion of happiness where it didn't naturally exist in my mind. That's why I so quickly fell in love with cocaine. It releases the endorphins and the dopamine. I was looking for that joy anywhere because it wasn't already in here. So this is the SpongeBob. This is the one that's kind of a uh, platinum color, sort of iridescent. I have all three. I'll insert swatches of them, but here he is. Spongy, another college throwback. Me and my best friend Stephanie, also known as Best Ever, were very big into SpongeBob. He used his head, and I'll show you. Now, now you can see. Ooh, really pretty. Rub it on his little head. 
and just go right on my lid. They're super creamy. And then I'm gonna take a finger I've not used and kind of use that to spread it out. The brush that has the brown and just kind of go over the crease a little where my big finger went high. Same thing, just taking it right off the top. Oh, that works much better. It's gonna be wet a little. That's pretty. All right, let's do the other side. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go in first with my finger and then brighten it up. That's really pretty. They work great with a brush. I'm not sure why I didn't think they would. I'm gonna take that on my inner corner too. If you can hear my dog snoring behind me, I apologize. Pull that up under a little. I've been doing that a lot and I really like the way it looks. Ooh, you can see my bags really bad from certain angles. That's a really nice highlight shade. You know, that's really pretty. Take some right above here. The white icy shade is so pretty. I love icy white for my nose and inner corner highlights. Okay, now I'm gonna use the Lawless. This is the um, one called Glass Slipper. Same silvery iridescent. I'm just gonna take a little bit right in the middle. Thing on the side, just right in the middle and bring it in forward a little bit. Ooh, very pretty. That's it for the eye look. Just super simple. I should also clarify, I do not know for a fact that Rick James was also using cocaine. I can assume based on his reputation, but I want to be clear, I did not see him use it. It was the person in between he and I who was obviously with him who gave it to me, but I, I did not see him do it. So I want to be clear about that. I'm not accusing anybody else of anything. Okay. This is the new mascara from Give. It's called Can't Stop Staring. Gwen Stefani's line. Okay, I love the checkerboard packaging. I had checkerboard on my nails for New Year's. The buildable lightweight mascara designed to lift and lengthen every single lash without transferring, flaking, or smudging. Castor seed oil, which is supposed to make your lashes grow, and argon oil to nourish and condition the lashes. So again, Can't Stop Staring is the name of it. Love the packaging. Let's give it a try. Let's see. Oh, okay. So this, this is the wand. It's, well, I don't need to say what that looks like. Okay, so we're gonna go in. Oh, ah, I'm gonna tight line real quick. The LA Girl Ultimate. That's what I always use in my tight line and just a little bit on the bottom lash on the outer corners. Okay, now going in with the Can't Stop Staring from Give. Uh -huh. I can't stop staring at this phallic wand. Okay. Although, I do like wands that have a more bulbous tip. <laughs> Just because they make it easy to pull out these lashes on the corners and get on your inner corner. It's not a wet formula and it's not a dry formula. It's pretty in the center. Here's one coat before. Okay, so this is the up close of the lashes, the mascara. It looks good. Looks pretty good. I like it. We'll see how it wears. 
Okay, my battery is going to die very soon, so just to finish up, I'm going to put a little bit of the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer along my hairline. This is a palette that came out that has three of the shades, and I'm just literally mixing them all together along the... Ooh, there's that Butter Bronzer smell we all love. Little on the back of the cheeks and down the neck, and then I'm just going to pinch and go down the sides of my nose a little bit and across the tip. Okay, I know the lighting, the sun is gone. I'm just gonna leave this cute little hair bow in because I'm kind of living for it. Mmm, that's not the end. I'm gonna put on one of the new lips from About Face. These are their version of everybody's glossy tinted balm. Like the Tarte, it has the click bottom. I got a few shades. I'll insert my lip swatches now that I did on a reel. This is the shade Kiwi Fuzz, and it's just a light brown nude. They have more pigment off the bat than the Tarte version. Closer to the M Cosmetics version. That's Kiwi Fuzz. I'm going to mix a little bit of Pumple Mousse, which is a light pink, in with it. As this is a little brown, I'm going to just take off the top layer and come in with a little bit of Pumple Mousse. Mmm. But the formula is beautiful. They're very creamy, very buttery. They are called the Cherry Pick, by the way. They came fast in shipping. They've got a ton of colors. Lip color butter. Cherry Pick lip color butter. They've got a ton of shades you can see in the swatches I did. It's a beautiful formula. Highly pigmented. Flavor is similar to the ColourPop Just a Tint crayons that eventually ended up smelling like cat pee when the... Uh, when they went bad. Wait, the lighting is gone. All right, I'm just gonna finish up with a spritz of the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Spray. This is better lighting of the finished look. I love it. New makeup, new experiences. It's been a while. I have a lot more, more fun videos to come, talking about lots of firsts, my first time getting arrested, which kind of stems from this one, my first time being on a game show. Like, subscribe, share, all the things. Have a great rest of your day. Bye!